Hello, it's Adam from Adam's Mockups. In this video, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to create the highest quality mockups for your clothing brand. This is for a complete beginner, and these are the methods that I have used to create mockups for some of the top clothing brands all over the world. The softwares that most brands use and you probably want to use to create your mockups are either Adobe Illustrator, which I and a lot of the other big brands use. You also have Photopea, which is 100% free and online, or you can use Affinity Designer, which is available on the app store on mobile iphone ipad all of that stuff any of these softwares are fine but personally i recommend using adobe illustrator this has a 14 day free trial and then you pay in monthly installments so i'm going to hop into adobe illustrator and using my mock-up pack in the link below i'm going to show you how to create your own clothing collection from scratch so now I'm inside of Adobe Illustrator and I'm just going to go from top to bottom. I'm going to design a few pieces of clothing and take you through my list of everything that you need to know as a beginner. So you first open up Illustrator. It looks just like this and you just want to make yourself an artboard of any size. I just like to spam a number, hence why they're all like 333. But say 3333 by 2222, just press create and you're going to have an artboard like this. Now I'm going to hop into my mock-up pack. So I'm going to change my tab into the mock-up master file that you can download in the link below. And I'm just going to select a few different mock-ups. So I'm going to pick this hoodie mock-up. I'm just dragging and selecting. I'm gonna hold shift and drag and select this other hoodie mock-up so we can compare the two. I'm gonna select a long sleeve. I'm going to take this basketball jersey. I'm going to take this puffer gilet or puffer vest. I'm gonna pick these track pants as well as these flares. And I'm just gonna pick a woman's item and some skateboards. I'm gonna press Control C, go back into here, Control V. It says this, just press OK. They're all gonna be all over the place. And you just want to move them all into your artboard. A little pro tip inside of Illustrator, and you want to like this video to add it to your liked videos so that you don't lose this. This is a good trick, and also this is a good video, so you want to like the video, but you press window and then press transform. I've already got it enabled, so you just press this transform button. It's going to open up this little box. Now you just want to select anything, and you want to make sure that you have this enabled. So scale, stroke, and effects, you want to make sure this is checked. This is turned on. Now, when you make your item bigger the stroke is going to stay the same whereas if this is disabled and i make it bigger then now it's messed up all my strokes so you want to make sure that this is enabled and all your mock-ups are going to stay intact so to save this you just want to go save as and save on your computer and just save it as anything. So second on the list, we have tools. So here are your tools up here. You have your toolbar. The tools that you're gonna wanna use from this toolbar are the top one, which is the selection tool, which is just to drag and select your layers. I am just holding Alt and scrolling up and down to zoom in and out. The next one is the direct selection tool, which selects the individual pieces if the item is grouped. So this item is grouped together currently. You can just ungroup and now it is not grouped together or i could select them all and press group and now they are all grouped together and you'll see when you drag all the items in they're all going to be grouped together so you want to click on the one you want to work with and then just ungroup or you can use the direct selection tool and it's going to ignore the grouping and select the individual parts anyway the next one you're probably not going to need to use if you're a beginner is the pen tool and if you're not a beginner then you probably know how to use the pen tool but this is really basic once you learn it, but this is how all the mock-ups are made just with a pen tool like this. And all these lines can be manipulated and moved around after they've been made. So as you can see, these are all made out of a bunch of pen tool lines. I can edit my lines, I can add, I can remove, I can just delete points like so. The next one you might want to know about is the text tool. This just allows you to type whatever you want like so and you can apply a bunch of effects to your text if i size this down it goes to the back of one of my hoodie mock-ups i'm going to make this white and just add a stroke as you can see the outline or the stroke is in front of the fill so you just want to click on your piece of text press ungroup and drag your fill above the stroke like so if you don't see this box you just want to press window and appearance 
and there we go that's how you use the text tool next we have the eyedropper tool we'll probably go through this more later but this allows you to just click on any item say if i go into my example collection i can just click on any item and get the color from that item so if i create a square have the square selected select my eyedropper tool i can select on any of these items and get my color like so this can be useful for example if i want to create alternative colorways so i could select these three yellow parts and make them black and you could create alternative colorways like that Last on your list, you have your colors here. You want to make sure that you're double clicking these boxes. If you single click, it won't open. But if you double click on the color box, especially with something selected. So if I ungroup these, select the base of the hoodie like this, double click on my color block. I can now change this to any color I want. And if I just hold shift and select multiple parts of my hoodie. So these are all separate parts. So you want to select the base, the bottom rib of the hoodie, the sleeves, the hood you can just group these together and color them all at once but i like to select them individually and make the inside of the hood slightly darker to add some depth to my mock-up you also don't have to create the zip hoodie but i am just doing that for the sake of the video if i wanted to change the outline color as you can see we have a black outline currently i can select the part that i want to change the outline of and if you just double click on the box behind it this outline here double click and now this changes the color of your outline but i'm going to keep this black so we've looked at the tools we've looked at the front and back of the garments we've looked at changing the colors as for adding graphics i'm going to use this long sleeve and skateboard there are two types of graphics that you can use either a vector file or a png file so here you have a vector file this is infinitely scalable and whether you've bought designs off a graphic designer or you've designed them yourself in Illustrator, it's good to have them as a vector file. So make sure that you get your graphics in vector format. This is a PNG. You can place this on your mockups and that is fine, but you can go one step further and turn this into a vector file by pressing this image trace button, pressing OK. It's gonna turn black and white like this. You wanna go down here into high fidelity photo. And once it loads, your PNG has now turned into an SVG. So this is infinitely scalable and it's not made out of pixels. So it's not gonna go blurry or grainy or anything like that. So if I just bring in the Supreme logo here from the internet and I do image trace and then just press the direct selection tool, select the background, delete the background, delete all of these little parts and I'm gonna drag my Supreme graphic and for this skateboard, I'm going to remove all the other letters by using the direct selection tool again. Going back to the selection tool and I'm going to make this S like this. I'm going to ungroup my two skateboards because they were grouped together. And to create a clipping mask, which is next on my list, to make this S just be within the boundaries of the skateboard outline, I want to select my S arrange send to back and it's going to put it behind my skateboard and now i'm actually going to just delete these and i can add them later i'm just going to select them both right click make clipping mask and there we go you can see it's turned it's gotten rid of the fill i just want to go into my direct selection tool select my outline go back into my eye drop tool and select my other skateboard now we have a big s logo skateboard and a small supreme logo skateboard i'm going to change the colors of all of these i'm just going to select the outlines with the direct selection tool and if i actually select my text select my skateboard lock both of these i'm going to select these little trucks i'm going to right click on them arrange bring to front i'm going to use the eyedropper tool make these the same color as my board i'm just going to go into my layers tab filter by locked and unlock the ones that i just locked like so and i'm going to make my text white i'm making the top of my skateboard gray to make it look like grip tape and i'm making three colorways of each model of skateboard next i'm going to design two colorways of denim tears long sleeves so i'm just going to drag my graphic into here for reference i'm going to just bring in this image of a denim tears hoodie and I'm just going to place my logo around using the reference image as a reference. And once you're happy with the placement of your graphics, you just want to select all of your graphics. 
and make your clipping mask. Here I'm just making another version of my long sleeve by holding Alt and dragging and changing all of the fills to black. Now that we are done with our long sleeves and our skateboards, I'm going to move on to the other items we chose, which were some hoodies, some pants, a jacket, a women's short sleeve top and a basketball jersey. All I'm doing here is just using all of the fundamentals that I talked about earlier in this video, such as selection tool, the text tool, the eyedropper tool, changing the colors, using clipping masks, and of course I'm using a bunch of different assets from my mock-up pack, such as the camo, the drawstrings, the pockets, the zips, and everything like that, which is all linked below or at adamsmockups.com. But here is the finished result. Here are all of my garments that I have created. And it's as simple as that. Inside of Illustrator, this is why I recommend Illustrator and personally think it is the best software because of how easy it is to create mockups that look professional. The last three extra points that I've mentioned here come included when you download the mockup packs. So you can watch those once it has downloaded. And this is just adding measurement guides to your mockups, creating a tech pack for your manufacturer with your mockups and all of my shortcuts that I use on Illustrator to speed up my work. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something about creating mockups or creating something for your clothing brand. I will be creating more videos like this, so make sure to press subscribe and I hope to be speaking to you soon. Thank you very much.